Now I'm in the I'm in the bar in the spot. I'm talking to these girls and Madonna sends this guy, Jack, over to me and he, he taps me on the shoulder and say, um It wasn't me. Nah, Haitian Jack. And he says, Yo, I'm Wow. So I went to the table, we talked for a while and then she had to leave and we just changed numbers, you know, at that time we had the BB. So my beep would go off and I I look at the numbers, the two one two numbers, I call and Madonna picks up the phone and she says, What you doing? And you know, I said, I ain't doing nothing now. She said, Well why don't you come by my crib? When you get caught, don't don't snitch. Yeah, that's the only thing I tell. That, so we wear. We I wear, won't. I won't even do this shit because I'm gonna snitch. <laughs> so we'll do the same. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna tell. We gonna wear the I can't we, do all that time. You did. We no, did no the fucking way. We wear the white. Hey, yo, you know this dude used to say that, and when he got caught, he did tell. So I believe yeah. you. Hey, yo, no, let me tell, let me tell you. I'm that dude. Like if I tell the nigga right, right before we go do the shit, if you <laughs> said that we was gonna get away with this shit, yeah. but if we, we don't, don't get, if we don't, my nigga, if you take me away from my family, I'm gonna tell. You need to come on down here today. They, they got us. Come fill out this paperwork. <laughs> this is Peter Shue, and you watching thisis50.com. Come on, motherfuckers, act like you know. <laughs> well, man, is, is there any day while you locked up, you say to yourself? Damn, shit, man, I should have told. Never. Never, not not even ye in year 13. Never. You're like, what the fuck, Jesus? Why has thou forsaken me? Nah, every day, every day I woke up, I was mad I was in that mo in, in that spot, but I would never want another brother, right now, and, and this is all my kids and my mother. If, if, if the government came to me right now and said, listen, we'll lock you back up and let all the brothers that ever went to jail for drugs home, and I have to go in there and never come home, I do that. You know why? Because the sacrifice of one to get everybody released is a good deal. Mm. And I always work and make work on good deals. See, I don't, jail to me, you know, it was like, you know, you have, you have your good days and bad days, but it didn't, you know, it really didn't do, do nothing to me because I had so much fun when I was home. Mm. So when I was home, I had good times and, and so many good times. So when I was in jail, I didn't cry about it. A lot of dudes go to jail, didn't have good times. Mm. They didn't they go to Vegas, the Soul Training back. Wars. They didn't go to, right. I, I'm with Mike Tyson at his fights. They didn't go to none of this thing. Um, um, where we had Jack the Rapper back in the day we used to go to and the Freaknik. They didn't have none of that. These dudes would stay on their blocks, hustle, whatever, whatever. They didn't enjoy themselves. I enjoyed myself. So if they told me today, right now, that we'll let all the drug dealers all over the United States that stand-up dudes, now, not snitches, mm. they gotta be stand-up dudes home if you go in and do the rest of their time. I'll be like, hey, let's go. Mm. Let them home, man, because I'm, I'm, I'm old enough to, I don't have my fun, you know. I don't know how long God has planned for me left, but I would love to see the brothers back on the street, you know, especially the ones I miss. Let's talk about the time period, man. Give me, the, give me a time span of when you were hustling. What, when, what, what age are you? When does that start? I mean, there was two bids, so I, my first hustling was in um, probably 19, probably 1980. I was really hustling, and I went to jail for for, for, um, for four years. Who got you into hustling? But we were stick-up kids first, you know, because we was getting high on the time, you know, sniffing coke. Cause that was a casual high back in the day. So when we sniff coke, it's like do smoking blunts. Mm. So you go to a party, you see ashtrays full of coke, you know, and you go way back. We was in disco fever all the time, you know the hilltop and all these places where you get coked out. You know, you, even with the weed and the, and the cigarettes, you put coke in there and they were smoking that. They call that Willies. Mm -hmm. So people were smoking, everybody smoking, getting high. So, you know, we was robbing that, you know, everybody get get off. So, you know, that's when we was young. I'm 14, 15 years old robbing people. Then um, I went to jail and did um, four years for uh, robbery, 84 to 88. Then I came home, tried to quit the whole hustle game, wanted to do, go to get a job and stuff and they, you know, they found out I was, I was convicted before so, and I lied on the application so right. the phone company so they got rid of me they made me feel like I was a piece of trash and you know it was white people. Fuck you AT&T. Yeah. You, you made Peter Shoe AT&T. They made me do that, you know. So, so what it was. You try to touch somebody and give a nigga a job, man. man. Yeah, but you know, you know, the whole thing is, you know, that made me say, well, I'm never going to work again and that was in 88. So after that, I started doing the, um, the coke and, the dope, well, the, really the hair bomb blew me up because there was these guys that was selling hair on, but they didn't have no, they were scared to move it. There was yeah. Africans, right. they were scared to move it in the street. But you know, I, I don't fear nobody. So I would go out there, buy the best, the best ones with the best labels that needed the, the hair on and I sell <clears throat> hair on to them. And you know, I'm making 50,000 off every key. So 
I'm, I, I found the big boys and I blew up on that. Right. right. So, if, you, if you're selling dope, was easy, everybody will be fucking doing, doing it. You know, I'm pro trying to get everybody home that they, they got no violence in their case should come home on the drug case. Mm. How do you give a person license for drugs but you got child molesters, rapists, it don't balance out. They get mm. a few years, come back home and do the same thing. Mm. And they really hurt the, the person they deal with. Mm. A, a drug dealer is just giving the person, he's going to get it from you or someone else. You ain't forcing them to get out. I, I think it's because they can't tax you, though. Yeah. They don't know how to, they they don't know how to control, control your money. money. Yeah, but it, you know, if you go back, and that's true, because if you go back in the day, right, if you remember number spots, when dudes had number spots, mm. they got arrested, got locked up, had to do a couple of years, mm. right? When they legalized this number stuff, I mean, the power, power. power. They got, they making money now. How you explain that to these dudes that did a couple years for your, for having number spots, and they came up with the idea before you? Ain't that some shit? Mm -hmm. now, now, what you think about the legalization of uh, marijuana right now? See, the government's gonna make money off it, so that's what's the key to them. My thing is, if, if they're gonna release a lot of guys that got in jail for marijuana, then I'm all for it because you know, if you're gonna make it retroactive to where you have to go back now and, and, and be sent to these guys that you gave 10, 20 years for for marijuana, right? And now you legalizing it. Let them guys out of jail then. Honestly, you know who brought the drugs in here. It wasn't us. You know who brought the guns in here. It wasn't us. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, we you could debate and go on all, all, all night long about this, but these brothers that's showing that they rehabilitated themselves, where you don't really have nothing to rehabilitate yourself in jail, you have to do it self you know, in, in, you, in you, like me, I, I just sit and watch BET all day. I wrote screenplays and books, you know, and that's, the book isn't that the only thing I have. I have screenplays that everybody's hot on, and they cross over, not urban. Guy Fisher has a doctor's degree. Let him out. Let that man out. You let the snitch out, Nicky Barnes. He did, all, he made, all, caught all the shots. Let Guy, oh, Nicky Barnes out? Yeah, Nicky been out. Let Guy out. See what I'm saying? Let Guy out. Let Underwood out. Let these guys out and give them another chance. Mm. The little American dream. The little American dream. Yeah, so. get 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 the, get that shit that motherfucking movie stars had, man. This is this, this is what we knew. And then the dudes that come home from jail that snitch, they get the movies. But the, a, a real dude come home, they don't get nothing. No mm. movie deals. Mm. No 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 um nobody want to look out for them. Mm. I do a lot of things for free because. You know, my thing is this. I want to get back to the to the society. You know, uh, wake, awaken them up, especially the young kids and stuff. So, you know, they idolize guys like me, and you know, I don't want them to idolize us. I want them to idolize yourself. Get yourself into something you know you want to do, mm. and not that. Oh, I want to be Jack Thriller, Peter Shoe, Jay Z. Nah. Because you might be dreaming and never get that. Mm -hmm. See, I've never been no follower. I've always been the leader. So I wasn't no screenplay writer, no book writer. I learned from one person. He showed me what he, he had the book Blow. Um, George. George Jump. Mm -hmm. Had the book Blow, showed me how to write. Took him two days to show me. I took it from there. Oh, are you, hold on, you actually went to go meet with him? We was in jail together. Get the fuck out of here! We was in jail together. So. You know, but he became a rat. I found out he was a rat later on, so I would have never dealt with him. But he left that out the movie. Yeah, he was a snitch. So, so <laughs> he left that shit. So my thing is this. So you know that really pissed me off because I took a liking to him, and he was an old man. I took a liking to him too. I was like, hey, man, why everybody telling on him? I got a, I got a joint right now. Everybody's hot on, so they trying to um, work a deal for me with sexual preface. I got what men die for. I got. Um, broken, broken promise. I got forbidden love. I got choices. These are all screen, screenplays that's crossovers, not urban. So they're gonna, you're gonna see here about them later on. Sound like a lot of Netflix money right and there. Then though. The Peter, then the Peter Shoe story. Word. Yeah. Now you gonna turn this into a movie? Yeah, Marty Bergman and them, the ones that did Scarface, directed Scarface. Mm -hmm. They want to do the screenplay on it. That's how hard it is. They think that it's gonna be just as good as Scarface or The Godfather. When they, when they put it all together. Man, see, now I'm, I'm over here reading in between the lines, so there was a lot of crazy shit going on yeah. behind the scenes, yeah. you know? Yeah, so, you know, everybody's coming at me wanting to do this, you know? Mm. So, we're going we gonna, we gonna to put this together. Man, hey, I, I, uh, I was up there talking to, uh, you know, Calvin Klein? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, he, he gave me a lot of, like, behind the scenes um, untold stories mm -hmm. and whatnot, man. What, what's some things that you lived through? What's some shit that were you like, damn, well, you I gotta, almost didn't come home this night. You got to watch out for stick up kids. You got to watch out for jealous people. You got to watch out for the police, you know? And, and, and you know, you got to watch out for some, some guys in your team, you know, because 
they get jealousy. they get jealousy and greedy and, 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 and you know that's why you never let everybody know everything about you. And you know, God bless the dead. Wolf came home. They was down with Puffy and told mm. me, shoot, he said they 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 saying your name all day in, 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 in MCC and NBC. They asking quick people who knows you and, and they wanna know stuff about you because everybody was coming back and telling them. You know, I was like, man, I ain't worried about them because I never touched no drugs. I only touch money. Mm. But I didn't know they could get you on oh, money. On, 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 on the Rico. money reverse, no, reverse thing. Right. It's where they sell drugs to you. And you think they, they dealers and you get a court. That's a, that's my whole case. Mm. So that's what guys is fighting now because that's illegal too. Because let me ask you this. How many times does that, does that have to happen before you trust them and everything for them to build a case? Well, you know, it's on them. They 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 told me I had to buy five keys or more. Because five keys or more is 10 years. Right, right. So they could, they could, they could, they could like, you know, See you a few times just to add it up and then run the conspiracy and hit you with the mouth. But that's why. So, I mean, so you to you to be buying drugs from them, actually distributing the drugs, yeah, and yeah. then going back reing up and being up. Wow. wow. So, so they, they are real drug dealers. They don't have to get you. They don't have to come get you day one. They could wait. They entrapping you. And you know, I had the same case as Delorean that made the car Delorean. Mm -hmm. and he beat that case and he had actual drugs in this case. I had no actual oh, drugs. Oh, tell me, Delorean was a fucking drug dealer. Yeah, he beat he beat this case. Entrapment. The mother of the time machine, the lawyer. And you go to, I, I learned that when I went to the law library because his case was in the law in the law book. Wow. So I didn't beat mine, but I didn't have no drugs. He beat his and had drugs in his case. I was wondering why they stopped making them calls. And they ruled him. They ruled him as in, in his case was entrapment. They ruled me as a drug dealer. Wow. wow. So, so, so it, it's, it's crazy out there, you know. And then you know, right now the snitches is home and people cater to them. They do, you know. They watch these movies on them. They 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 support them, and you know that's why it's hard for us. I don't care what name you had back in the day, like Nicky Barnes and them. They had good names back in the day, but once you Alpo, you cross that line. Frank oh, Lucas, the movie. Sammy the Bull, uh, the dude from Boston in that movie. I keep thinking about the Mass. You know they. Their names go all out, out, out the window. Man, I really appreciate you coming by. This is 50 today, man, and giving us your story, dog. This tell 50, amazing. Tell 50, man, let's meet up with me. We go to dinner sometime, man. We seen him, but we didn't see him. We was at the um, on stage 48, but it was too active, so we didn't get to talk to him. But he seen us, he, he acknowledged us, and, and, but he, you know, he was going through a lot that night. It looked like it. It was crazy. It was crazy that night. So, it, 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 you, so you was actually there? You, yeah, I got, a picture, I got a picture of my camera with me in 50. We, we was both on stage at the same time, but the whole thing, it was so hectic, I didn't really get to talk to him. So I, I, would like, I would love to talk to him because, you know, he's one of my favorites, you know, and I like to see all the brothers is doing good. And he's one of my favorites. And I know um, Kevin Weeks, that's real close to him. Yeah, yeah. Now Kevin means like this, and, you know, I speak to Kevin all the time, and we were together in- um, You were locked up with Kevin? Yeah, he's in four days with me. Wow, okay. So me and Kevin is real close, and, mm. Matter of fact, Kev came to my first book signing. Mm. So, you know, I love it. Kev was here yesterday. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. When you talk to him, tell him I said, you know, Man, I'm, I'm, I'm him excited him. to tell him to talk about this. this. Ask him, and he's going to say, Yeah, that's, I'm like a brother to him. So, you know, we had some good times in four days together. And, you know, and um, I, I love him like a brother. He's a real good dude. Kev is one of the exceptional dudes. So, I'll give a shout out to him too. But, um, yeah, tell 50, you know, he can hang out with us sometime. We, Man, you, you, you tell, tell him right now. 50, I'm home. I'm your OG. I'm proud of you to have you, how successful you are. You know, let's get together sometimes, you know. and Go to Ricardo's. Uh, Ricardo's or whatever. Maybe, you know, maybe you want to see some of my screenplays I wrote, uh, you know, the, and you might want to do something with me. But uh, if not, you still my peoples and God bless you in your future ventures. Mm. All right? Well, like I always say, you just can't say you really something you got to be, man. We open, we out of here. Do I have something in mind? Y'all go to commercial. Don't kiss them hoes in the mouth unless you got to. And make sure you go get this goddamn book ASAP. And the book is all over the place. Fam, I got you. iTunes, Amazon, you know, everywhere. Everywhere you see, you see the book is all over. Soon to be an audio book too. Soon to be a movie too. A movie. And I like to thank Jack Miller and Jeremy for having me on. And like I said, I was so happy to be on the show with Jack Miller because he's the best at what he does. All right. Thank you. <laughs>